The moment you step aboard a luxury cruise ship, a hostess is at your arm proffering a glass of bubbly, while a capable room steward offers to heft your carry-on as he escorts you to what will be your home away from home for the next few days. You stow away your things, likely in a walk-in closet, and then emerge from your suite to get the lay of the ship. As you walk the decks, friendly crew members greet you by name. How can that be? You just set foot on board. First Class Personalized Services is just one of the hallmarks of the luxury cruise lines. You can also expect exotic itineraries, varying degrees of inclusivity in pricing, fine wines, and gourmet cuisine, as well as universally high crew to passenger ratios. That being the case, you might think any old luxury cruise ship will do, but that's not quite true. Like people, cruise ships have their unique personalities, and some will be more suited to your holiday style than others. Welcome back to another episode of Travel Champ, the home of all things travel on YouTube. We're passionate about exploring mind-blowing and fascinating places all over the world and love to share our knowledge with you. Subscribe to the channel now so you never miss out on any of our latest and greatest uploads. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the most luxury cruise ships in the world. Let's get started. Seven Seas Explorer As the flagship for the line, Regent Seven Seas Cruises, palatial Seven Seas Explorer, exemplifies the hallmarks of exquisite cuisine and the super all-inclusivity for which Regent is known. If you're looking for extraordinary accommodations at sea, look no further than this ship. All cabins are suites, and if you love balconies, Seven Seas Explorer features some of the largest in the industry, ranging from 55 to 995 square feet. Likewise, the public spaces are stunning. The ship features an enormous amount of granite and marble, half of it is Carrera, plus almost 500 chandeliers made of Czech crystal and glass. Art lovers will enjoy the 2,500 pieces of art displayed throughout the vessel, including some especially commissioned paintings by Spanish artist Eduardo Aranz Bravo and works by masters such as Picasso. Fares include business class and intercontinental flights, as well as premium alcohol, wine, spirits, beer, soda, water, and sports drinks, plus all dining, with at least one meal at every specialty restaurant on board, unlimited Wi-Fi, unlimited shore excursions, though there is also a list of upgraded tours with the a la carte pricing, and gratuities. Oceana Riviera Riviera is known for its myriad dining venues, including complimentary specialty restaurants. Dining venues include the Grand Dining Room and other favorites like Jacques, a French bistro, with menus designed by famous chef Jacques Pepin, Polo Grill, a refined steakhouse serving USDA Prime and dry-aged beef, the Italian restaurant Toscana, where tables are set with custom-designed Versace china, and Red Ginger, which serves Asian classics. Two very special, intimate dining options are also offered for a fee. Each evening, 24 passengers can enjoy a seven-course meal at La Reserve by Wine Spectator. As you can imagine, the wine pairings are of special note there. Foodies might also wish to pay a visit to the well-equipped culinary center on board Riviera. It is a self-contained cooking school at sea that offers a hands-on experience at 12 individual cooking stations, two people per station. Classes focusing on a variety of topics do incur an extra fee, but get rave reviews from participants. This is also the ship for anyone wishing to book a suite. There are 147 of them in various configurations. The 2,000 square foot owner's suites are knockouts, featuring Ralph Lauren furnishings throughout the living rooms, dining rooms, 
and bedrooms. Oceana sweetens the sweet pot by offering extra amenities, including priority 11 a.m. check-in, priority luggage delivery, 24-hour butler service, priority online specialty restaurant reservations, unlimited access to the Canyon Ranch Spa Club's private spa terrace, and much more. Seaborn Encore On Seaborn's Seaborn Encore, beautiful interiors and intuitive spaces that are designed for the way people want to gather and relax are hallmarks of indoor and outdoor public areas, which were created by renowned designer Adam D. Tihany. All 300 suites, ranging from 300 to 1,300 square feet, have balconies that are perfect for enjoying breakfast, drinks, or dinner al fresco. The spa at Seaborn set a new standard in wellness at sea when the complex was allotted so much space on the line's Odyssey-class ships. Now, in addition to an expensive spa, Seaborn Encore features the retreat, a private, VIP access only, outdoor lounge area on Deck 12. The daisy-shaped canopy stretches over the retreat, so you'll find both sun and shade. Fifteen cabanas, costing $350 per couple per day, are available and come outfitted with flat-screen TVs, Evian misters, a beverage-filled mini-fridge, and fresh fruit. The cabanas are conveniently arranged around the hot tub, which is a focal point of the retreat. Many travelers looking for top-notch but friendly service are partial to Seaborn. The line's all-inclusivity is also compelling. Cruise fairs include interesting itineraries, as well as entertainment and all meals. And there isn't even a surcharge for the line's excellent restaurant from the celebrity chef Thomas Keller. The fairs also include open bars, offering fine wines, beer, and spirits throughout the ship. Although there is an additional list of select vintage and spirits that do cost extra. Tipping is neither required nor expected on board, making the experience stress-free. Silver Muse Silver Muse is the largest luxury cruise ship in Silver Sea's fleet. Food is one area where this cruise ship excels. Its approach to dining is unique to Silver Muse, which lacks a traditional main dining room and instead has eight smaller restaurants at which passengers can dine any night. Two of them, Kaiseki and La Dame, by Relais and Chateau, require a $60 per person surcharge, but the other six are complimentary, though they require reservations. Suites are a highlight, with more than enough space, complete with bathtubs and separate showers. All cabins also have a neat hidden TV feature. Flat screen televisions are embedded into huge mirrors, and when they're turned off, you can't even see them. Silver Sea's claim to fame is the fact that a butler is assigned to tend to every cabin aboard every Silver Sea ship in the fleet. Butlers are educated by the Guild of Professional English Butlers and will assist you when it comes to unpacking and packing your luggage, serving breakfasts on your balcony, making arrangements for short tours and dining times, and even serving dinner, course by course, in your suite. Silver Sea shines when it comes to personalized service. The crew is incredibly friendly and intuitive. They seemingly know what you want when the very thought has just crossed your mind. Silver Sea also loves to throw a good soiree and does so on every warm weather cruise in the form of its deck party. Chefs spend the day preparing for this pull out all the stops event at which they serve roast suckling pig, carved meats, shrimp and crab leg cocktail, pasta, salads, and an array of mouth-watering desserts. And that brings us to the end of this video all about the most luxury cruise ships in the world. Which of the cruise ships in this video would you most like to travel on? Get involved and let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this episode, 
remember to leave a like on the video. And if you wanted to see more awesome content just like this, subscribe to Travel Champ so you're always up to date with our latest videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon in the next one.